Well, I was gonna show you the land, but it's dark, so you don't even get to see the land. No land for you. Bam, here at the land, at the Steinfab Garage, what is good? There is the man himself, hard at work. Look at that guy, building cars. What up, folks? So I'm on my way to get a haircut right now. I don't know if I've actually talked about where I go get my haircut. So I go down to Showtime Barber Shop. The homie Eric, my barber, he lives in Rio Rancho, not far from the wife's grandparents. So a little, little closer to the north side of Rio Rancho, almost in a Leo area. But he works way the heck down here at Showtime. And it's a cool barber shop. Real mellow, real like, real like uh, relaxed environment. I, I really like that place. It's a cool shop and all the barbers are cool as heck. So, so I thought I'd show you more or less where it's at. Let's, let's take a trip. Uh, no trip, we're stuck in traffic. And we can go now. I-40 and Coors, so we're almost there, but look at this. Would you look at this? Bro, it has been like two months or three months since I've got a haircut. This is this is abnormally long for me. I've been crazy busy. I've had a crazy work schedule, and I just haven't had time. And Eric's been crazy busy, my barber, because he's working a lot. A good man, good work ethic. So yeah, he's, he's really busy too. So us getting together to get my haircut uh, has been logistically challenging let's just say that it's been it's been a logistical chat logistic is logistical logistic logistic logist, logistical challenge i don't know how to say that but i think that's right a logistical challenge today was my first day off after three days on and it happened to align with his schedule so look here we go so this is los volcanes and this you see that little barber pole flag there this is showtime barbershop and that is a nice little XB. Look at that thing. Love it. Love it. Love the XB. Oh, and I actually, I can actually see the homie's car. There it is. This is the one that was in the toy box garage and will be again very soon. All right, well, we're here, so I'll be right back. There we go. I like it. It's a lot better. Look at that line, bro. Look at them, that line work, though. That line work is phenomenal. I guess I don't really need a hat now, but I brought it, so I'll wear it. Headed back to the crib now. Good morning, guys. It's the next day after my haircut. I'm back in the garage. I figure it's time we make some garage content. What do you say? What do you say there, Baymax? We're gonna make some garage content. Oh, this dude needs some air. He, this cold weather is affecting him. He don't like the cold either. He's getting soft. Uh, we're gonna make some content today because I haven't been making content because I've been so, so effing busy. We'll just say I've been too effing busy to be making content. I can't believe it. That's awful. I hate that. I hate that so much. I want to make content. I've got so much. I've got so many ideas and so much to do and I have a camera. So why the hell am I not making content? I have many cameras. Why the fuck am I not using all these cameras? Anyway, that's just, okay, that was my little rant. It's about time I get freaking working on this damn orange one. Oh, look at that. I already did. I already did get start working. Okay, so the thing is at night when I come in to pack the hookah, so I got my little uh, burner right there where I light the coals and, you know, I pack the hookah right here. That's why there's always hookah, shisha, and crap up on the top of the workbench. But when I come in to do that, it, it takes probably like 10 minutes for the coals to get going and whatnot and pack the hookah. So so while that's lighting, come over here and do a little at a time. So this is what this is where I've gotten so far. So got the timing covers off, got everything out of the way. And if you look under here, oh, I dropped the sprocket. It's right there. So yeah, here's the sprocket that I took off the old one. Don't see anything wrong with it other than the fact that I broke a couple teeth. Oh, how do you like that? Broke them fucking teeth. For some reason, that sprocket 
just like the old engine that I recycled, the blown up one from the Outback, those damn sprockets are so freaking tight. The new sprocket, the Colin gave me, slides on and off, no problem. I mean, it's tight now because I got the belt on it, but this is the crank sensor I pulled off of the old engine, the one that Colin gave us there. I'll have to take this sleeve off to make it work, but it also is a little bit differently shaped, so I figure it's probably not great to use that one. This is the one I pulled out, which doesn't look bad at all. I mean, that, that doesn't mean it's not bad, but I did notice... Let's see if I can get it in focus. See that, that pin right there on the left? See how black it is? It looks like it's got a hole through it. That could be affecting continuity, giving a false reading. So I think Colin might be onto something with this whole thing. So my hopes are way up there. All I'm gonna do now is put the last piece of the timing back in, make sure everything's lined up perfectly. As you see, I marked everything with, with a wax pen and in the center. And I made sure before I proceeded any further that the timing mark on the actual bracket, can you see it? Yeah, right there in the back. So it's a little behind, but also this one's a little behind. And this one's a little ahead, but that's because I haven't tightened the belt on it yet. So anyway, but I'm going to get this bracket put back on, make sure all the timing is good. Once that's done, I will put the crank pulley back on, put the alternator belt back on, fire it up, see if, it, if anything changes. If it does, I'll take those belts back off, put the timing cover back on, and she's done. And that'll be amazing, and I'll be so freaking happy. So freaking, so freaking happy you don't understand. Enough of my blabbering. Let's do it real quick. Let me get a tripod. Oh, that's bullshit. All right, how's that? Does that look good? Okay, here we go, and time lapse. About to fire her up and see if changing the sprocket and the crank sensor made any difference. Fingers crossed, hopefully it does. If not, fuck this car. Fuck this car! Not really. If not, I have another plan. It's not a ideal plan. It's a freaking time-wasting pain in the butt. But I only have four months to finish this car. Like, it has to be running. Three months is my deadline. It has to be completely running, ready to go three months by March. It has to be ready to go, 100%. So that being said, my backup plan to this is the car that we traded the RSX for has a good, clean running engine. It does need gaskets, valve cover gaskets, to be repaired on the gasket. I don't know. It's It's got oil leaks, minor oil leaks. But I figured if I'm, if, if I don't sell it quick and I'm going to pull that motor out, I'm going to put the multi-layered steel head gaskets in it too. Might as well while it's out of the car. So if I take that engine out, I'll just pull this orange car's engine out and swap them. I'll put this engine in the white car. And if the problem follows this engine to the white car, then I know it's the engine and not the car. If it doesn't, then I know it's the car, which will tell me a couple things. If it does follow the engine, then maybe it's a valve job needs to be done or something. It's something in that right head on the passenger side head with cylinders one and three. If it doesn't follow the engine, then the ECU is probably my next problem. Like that's the next thing that it could be. Pretty much the only other thing. So that'll give me a definite answer, but it's such a lot of work. I mean, in, in the grand scheme of things, it's like three, four hours of work. But, you know, in the total process of just trying to diagnose this, it's way more work than necessary. Anyway. All right. Well, here we go. Just sit there and watch this. Let's fire this car up. Nope, no difference. Super smooth at 3,000 RPMs.
Well, you saw it yourself. Now I'm gonna grab that scanner and see if uh, I can figure something out with that scanner. All right, I'm just gonna do some code pulling, so hang on. Okay, well, I shut her down. I left her running for 30 minutes, give or take, 35 minutes, just to recharge the battery, because the battery is starting to, to die since it was sitting there so long. Not unlike your mom, but I got that done. Battery's fine now. Still having the same three codes, so uh, I really don't want to pull the engine out of that other car. Really don't want to do that. May have to do that just to see 100%, unless I can just try to, uh just, just so much, just so much to do with this car still. And I thought I was almost done. But who just, okay. So I still need to swap all this shit. So I might as well just get started. Just get this done real quick. Get it over with. Let me turn the lights on. Turn on the lights. Close the doors. Oh, oh, I'll turn on the lights and close the doors just like at your mom's house. Oh, oh. Oh. I'll tripod you, not unlike your mom. Oh, 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 it's all your mama jokes today. It's all about your mama and the jokes. Okay, well, I guess we'll just start here. No better. I have this, could try it. Very seriously doubt it would work, but it would be cool just to see if it did. Yeah, what the hell, might as well. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that. Okay, and this, that door panel is in better shape, so I'm just gonna leave that. Oh, this is the wrong side. This is the fucking driver door, duh. This is the passenger door. Oh yeah, this one's fucking way nicer. This one is way, 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 way nicer. A little dirty up here, but super, super clean, super nice. So yeah, we're definitely swapping this bitch in. <laughs> Just like at your mom's house. <laughs> Crusty. Don't worry about my plumber's crack. Don't be looking at that. Your mom will get jealous. Ah! Got him. Jeez, I've been on your mom all day. Ha! Yeah, this one doesn't even let it fuck crank. That's crazy. My ECU for my car at least let it crank. This one doesn't let it do anything. But also, this is a different year. This is a 2011, and this car is an 09. So maybe that's a huge difference. Piece of shit car. I bought a piece of shit car. This fucking pile of shit never gets very fucking far. This car's a big pile of shit. Cause the engine don't fucking run. Do 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 do. If I wouldn't have wasted money, I'd shoot it with a fucking gun. Do 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 do. And I've had to change out most of the interior because the whole shit was fucking trash. Do 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 do. Not even sure if this was worth the pain in my fucking ass. And we'll change out the steering wheel. And we'll change out the uh, door sill on that side. And we'll call it a, we'll call it a, call it, we'll, we won't even talk to it. We won't even call it anything. And just like that, it's switched. Good the fuck dead. Tricky, tricky, trick. Here we go. It's tricky to put this back. You put this back. It's kind of wacky. It's tricky. But I did it anyway. No, I didn't. The spare parts. Oh, 
That's not good. <laughs> Fuck tired. Dude! <laughs> Come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it. Fucking did it. Fuck, come on, fuck. Oh, fuck, come on, fuck. Oops, that's not right. That's oh. And that, I guess, is how we install a steering wheel, maybe? I don't, I don't know, did, did, did it work? Did it go in? Did you see it? Should have been paying attention. Spare parts, gotta go back up to the land, to the motherland with Colin. Well, she's not 100%, but she's about 96%. Last thing is to swap this out, so let's just get this one out of the car, just do it, just get it swapped. The F out. Oh, what the fuck do these? What is this? Who does this? Gross. Just put some shit on the fucking door, will you? You fucktards. Gross. Ugh. I'm gonna glue this in because, because I'm. <laughs> Gross. They glued the whole fucking thing. So gross. And we're changing this because of this part right there. Again, what the F. Look at that. Look at it. Just look at would you would you just look at it? Can somebody come and look at this? Look at this. Look at it. So yeah, it's got that ugly little gap right there, but it's far, far superior to its predecessor. So nice, nice. Suck my balls. Cool. It looks like I'm done in the garage today. I'm not even about to jump into any other projects because the rest of them are gonna be way bigger, way harder, way longer. That's what she said. <laughs> but I'll be back. I will be back with more content very, very soon. I just, I, okay, so here's the thing, people. Just listen to me, okay? Hear me out, hear me out. Winter sucks. I hate that the days end so, so quickly. It gets dark so fast. It's not cold. I mean, it's not warm. It's, it's cold. It's not great. All of these things together suck. They suck. So because of all of these things that suck and are not great, I don't want to do work a lot. <laughs> I do want to do work. Just not so much. Or, well, that and I don't have as much time because of the daylight and the cold. But, coming soon. Podcast, XB. We're going to have a little Buick project in there. We're going to have stuff coming soon. That's all. Let's just say that. Let's just do that. Let's just, let's just go with, we're going to have stuff coming soon, okay? Just deal with that and I will see you on the next video. Okay, this is the Master of None signing out of the Toy Box Garage. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. All the stuff that the YouTube gods love. Come back on the next one. Master of None signing out.